this guy who I think has lost it. Uh, he looks like anything but a scientist at nuclear program of the country. He is like uh, skinny, lost a lot of weight, that's what's mentioned. Dark circles under the eyes, uh, messy hair, uh, untidy dress. It's like unprofessional, right? And uh, if you've been just following conventional media and all the stories you get from Bollywood and most common books out there, you think that ah, this guy has gone through a breakup or something, right? And uh, then it cuts to the main, like the name of the book, right? The boy who did not sign. So where did it come up from? So I did not want it to linger too long tell you straight what it's what it is all about so it is shown that this is the placement name and there has been a year long of training based on which people are supposed to get their career postings like this is a government job so you get where you're going to be posted and that's where you're going to lead your career and there's a ranking system, there's a pecking order based on how you perform in that training school. People who perform better get choices. Those who perform worse get less choices. The person who performs worst gets no choices. And it's told where you're supposed to go. And that is what everybody dropped out. And nobody wanted to go over there. That's left on the table. That's there for the person who is the bottomer. The bottomer is Ashwin Taksh. And then a little bit of story from the background is thrown. Yeah, this guy has been a below average student before, but he's a university topper. Uh, being in SCART itself is showing tremendous amount of skill in engineering. It's shown like how, how many people try like lakhs of people try to get in hundreds of thousands and like less than a 50 make in right so so you don't just get in over here if you're not good in academics but you are you have performed definitely very poorly in one year of academics over here in the training so what happened that's where you're left and then the hierarchy is shown of nuclear energy agency and it's a giant giant organization dozens and dozens of centers all across the country and uh, people have spent like decades like 30 years 35 years they have spent time in that organization they're here sitting over here at the placement day telling Ashwin Dutch you don't have a choice and Ashwin Dutch says that I do have one choice apart from the one that you give me and that is I'm walking out I won't sign and uh, that's where it cuts goes one year in the past how did he get into Science Center of Atomic Research how did he get into the pinnacle of research in this country after being like a below average student in high school so six years back he scores 53 marks in math 61 in physics and gets like a tier 3 college which anybody can get into and uh, six years later he selected an IIT Bombay for masters he is selected to science center of atomic research super ambitious more ambitious than any mediocre below average student should be he aims to be an Indian space research organization so you have a lot of questions like whoa, whoa wait a second what's going on over here and I need to know more so we begin at the beginning the story goes back to June of 2017 where he steps foot at Science Center of Atomic Research for the first time for the interview. That's where it starts. From the moment he gets
gets into that tunnel to the moment he sees light at the end of the tunnel and when he exits the tunnel everything is mentioned that tunnel of scar and obviously these are fictional names but inspired by true events and that is why the dates were so important to me time was so important to me but it's a story a fictional one there's a beginning there's an end unlike real life in a real life it just goes on that's why we watch movies it has to be conclusive and uh, yeah so that's that's prologue that's what i wanted to share in the prologue confusion confusion amongst the audience like there's a lot to unwrap over here this guy like when it comes to any story what hooks you the most are the characters like if the character is not unique if the character is nothing unusual why would you care like it can be a positive character it can be captain america kind of positive character or it can be negative character it can be a evil character but as long as there's something that strikes out the flaws in the person the good things in the person there's a character in that person you want to know more and then moreover you see that how oh, what he is trying to do like not exactly like becoming an astro scientist but what he is trying to do is that he wants to achieve his goals despite the limitations that he is facing and he is alone in this world he is alone in this race and he is strong that's the positive side of the character the negative side of the character you are going to start seeing as well see things do not appear real as long as it does not seem to be true and uh, for example when you see a person you see the flaws of the person too like when you see a person sitting in front of you talking to you you see flaws you see wrinkles you might see white hair you might see a lot of uh, unsymmetrical features or crooked teeth or these are all like flaws of a person but if that those flaws were in there you would never believe that this is real so the flaws makes you believe that it is real and uh, that's why i have used all my flaws and put it in as front touch <laughs> i put all the good things that helped me a lot in the long run put it in as front touch and uh, you'll see the more you read that's about it should end this video i'm going to leave you with the scene of the highway see you next time till then bye